on the channel today we are reviewing this silver stars Mohammed al Koyakibi card now i have probably pronounced that horribly wrong if there's any saudi arabian people out here or just people that know what the actual name is i'm very sorry i'm just i just can't pronounce it you know it is what it is though i tried my best i did actually try and pronounce it though i feel like it's better and more respectful to actually try rather than just saying oh no i'm not going to pronounce it i tried my best Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and um, yeah, this is the play review we're going to be doing. Now, let's start off with his stats. 5 foot 6, high medium work rates, left footed, 4 star skill moves, his nice 3 star weak foot sucks a little, but the height and the pace combined, he's going to be dead. Now, links is very hard, but icons pretty easy. The Saudi League tots are out as well, you know, players like Benega and Romarino to link to. Not actually the hardest player to link anymore. And um, good in silver stars as well. Pace, fantastic. Don't need to touch it. Shooting is great in certain areas. His position and finishing is not great, but shot power, long shots, volley is out of this world. And especially for a silver star card. But again, position and finishing for a silver star is not bad, so I'm not going to touch that. Now, passing wise, needs boosting. That's why I put an artist on him. And his dribbling in the areas needs boosting as well. So I shouldn't. Um, so I put the artist on to get them reactions and actual dribbling up. Now, 86 stamina's okay, it'll be alright. He's also got the flare trait. This card is going to be a bit of a beast in game. Now, the other chem styles I recommend is a dead eye for the striker position. Finisher for more of like a other winger position or the artist like I've done. So, um, yeah. It's a very nice card. We'll get into a game with him and we'll see how he plays. Good pass. Let's see this run. Oh, nice run. Ah. Oh. Unlucky there. I think that was the low strength coming into play. Maybe a marksman because positioning here. Oh, it's great positioning. He's onside. That's a great finish. 12 minutes in. That positioning was deadly. What a finish from Al Kawaiab Kibi. Alright. Great run. Oh, he's not got the strength at Oh, there's a run again. It's a good pass. It's back to him. A double on his debut, 22 minutes in. I'll tell you what, as a striker, he's actually playing really nice. Alright, lays it short. This positioning from him is actually really nice. Here he is. Oh, brilliant pace. Oh, great dribbling. Look at it. it's just that the thing that's letting him down so definitely that strength. It's another great run from him. Oh, he's just not got the strength at all. It's too small. Oh, great position there. He's gonna go for the shot. Oh, it's a good save. Good run here. Uh, Alright, get that back. Oh, he's won the ball well here. Oh, the dribbling was a bit dodgy. Alright, here he is. Can he get a good pass away? Can. Good pass into the space there. Positioning again. Gets back into the striker position well. That was a nice bit of play there. Oh, brilliant dribbling. Good cross in the middle. Oh... Wins it back well. Oh, brilliant dribbling again. Oh, my life. All right, lads. So, my final thoughts on this Al Kibi card is he was fantastic. Now, obviously, he's not, like, the best player I've ever reviewed and not the best player in the game. But as far as the Silver Star goes, I've done a few of them, that's for sure. I've done about 10 Silver Stars. He's definitely the best one out of all of them I've done. That friendly was against a team with about half a team of Prem Tots, which was, like, very hard team to play against. Um, he was great as a left striker. I'd rather play him in that position than on the wing because uh, of that shooting for a winger. I'd definitely use that to an um, advantage. But one thing, the one downside, and the only downside I actually had with this card... Which is crazy to say there's only one downside on a Silver Stars card that played against a bunch of Prem Team of the Seasons. This shows how good of a Silver Star he was. I might even start him in my main team actually look over um over this Correa card right here. We've got I've got my Prem uh, Gold 3 rewards tomorrow as well. So hopefully I can get a good two red play picks in that. But yeah, anyways, 
the main problem with the card was actually his strength. It was atrocious. That was the one thing that was bad because, yes, he could outpace players, but the times when it was like a ball into him when the defenders were behind him, they'd just win him off the ball easily. Mixed with that height, yeah, it's not great, that strength at all. But, yeah, he did well in that friendly game. The chem style I'd actually apply to him now is a marksman because you want to get that strength up as much as possible and the shooting and the dribbling, which... Yeah, he's a great card, though. Just a strength for me. But, yeah, overall, a fantastic card. A solid 9.5 out of 10. And, yeah, see.